Others still try to imitate it, but none can replicate it, not even close. There's only one centralizer this strong, Syntec Centralizers, an international symbol of quality. Energy FC dropped their second match of the IMG Suncoast Pro Classic here this afternoon. 1-0 against the New York Red Bulls. New York able to capitalize on a defensive breakdown early on, and Manolo Sanchez scored the lone goal of the match in just the 10th minute. No, that's where we obviously made a big mistake in the, in the build-up. And what we talked about before the game and what we talked about after the game against uh, Toronto, we've got to make quick decisions because those guys will come after you. Uh, you don't have uh, two, three, four seconds on, on the ball. They'll be right at you and, and, and they're going to punish mistakes very hard and that's what they did on the goal as well. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's a little mistake at the back. Um, and um, again, good players and good teams, they'll punish you on their mistakes and that's what MLS players do, you know. Uh, they've obviously you know, got some good players. Uh, you know, it might not have been quite their first team, but they still had a designated player playing and I believe he's only got the assist and things like that. So, um, yeah, it was disappointing in that respect. Despite the loss, there are several positives to take away from this one as the team continues to work towards their March 28th USL season opener. I think the, the guys did an excellent job. Uh, I think there was improvement from, from last game. Our possession worked way better today. Uh, we created some very good chances in, in first half. And uh, obviously in second half, you could see we, we got a little tired, you know, uh, with the game and with not a way deep roster, you know, we were pulling a lot of out of the, the same guys and I think the, the temperature today had an influence as well. Um, overall, uh, very happy with their performance. Of course, the result were not what we wanted, but uh, I think the, the guys can, can leave the field with their head up. Well, I think we played a, a lot better than we did against Toronto. Um, New York didn't pressure us as much as Toronto did. Gave us a bit more room, um, but then again, they they punished us more than Toronto did. So um, it's sad, but one nil, you know, okay game. Um, I think it did okay. Um, there's definitely some things we could have done better, um, but I think our possession was a lot better than the Toronto game. I think we held onto the ball a little bit better and maybe created a few more chances. Uh, defensively, I think we did well overall, you know, um, but uh, we can be a little bit more solid there positional wise. But uh, overall, I think there's plenty of positives to take from the game and playing as an MLS team and narrow defeat. Of course, we don't want to lose games, but uh, there's no, no shame in today's result. Energy FC is next in action on Wednesday afternoon against Danish team HB Kui. That game starts at 2.30 Eastern Time. Reporting from Bradenton, Florida, Carter Baum, Energy FC TV.